Welcome back to LGBT Snapshots. I am your host, Chad. Today we are launching Wizard of Oz Week, where we will be exploring the same familiar nine themes, but all related to the topic of the Wizard of Oz. Today is the introduction piece. In 1900, author L. Frank Baum wrote and released the popular children's novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. In the book, Dorothy Gale of Kansas is taken to a magical fairyland in a cyclone along with her dog Toto. She meets a living scarecrow, a man made of tin, and a talking lion. She kills an ugly and evil witch with a pail of water. She follows a road of yellow brick into a city of emerald, and she exposes a purported wizard as a fraud. In the end, she uses a pair of magical slippers, in this case, silver shoes, and later ruby slippers in the movie, to wish herself home. The book, considered the ultimate American fairy tale, inspired Baum to release over a dozen other Oz books featured there. Many of the books returned Dorothy and other familiar characters and introduced many other popular characters to readers, including TikTok, the Patchwork Girl, the Hungry Tiger, the Wogglebug, and Princess Ozma herself. Various books from the Oz series were turned into plays in the early 1900s, and dozens of books have been written by other authors, exploring the lands of Oz with both beloved characters and new additions. Then in 1939, MGM spent millions creating The Wizard of Oz movie, based on the book with different formatting and character portrayals, and starring box office hit Judy Garland. Filmed in Technicolor and with a new musical score, the film just broke even upon its release and it lost its Best Picture nomination to Gone with the Wind. However, it was re-released in theaters 10 years later to huge critical acclaim, and in the mid-1950s it was broadcast on television annually and has remained a family classic ever since. The film has inspired multiple sequels and and adaptations on the screen and stage, notably including the film's Return to Oz and Oz the Great and Powerful, and the Broadway hit The Wiz, written for an all-black cast. In addition, Gregory McGuire wrote the Wicked series, exploring the lives of the witch, the cowardly lion, and others in an adult fiction format, and Wicked was later turned into a wildly popular Broadway musical that is still touring. In 1970, a small theme park dedicated to Oz even opened. Partially due to the gay community's love of Judy Garland, along with a combination of powerful music, colorful imagery, a magical fairyland where anything is possible, and the idea of leaving gray, dusty Kansas behind for a magical life of acceptance and love in another world, The Wizard of Oz has been deified by the gay community as an archetypal film, and the rainbow has been adopted as its primary symbol in the gay movement. Thank you for tuning in today. If you learned something, like... Subscribe, share with your friends, and we will see you back here tomorrow for History Day when we talk about the Friends of Dorothy. Thanks for watching.